In this video, we will discuss the parts of a chemical equation, kung paano basahin at paano ito i-balance. This is a balanced chemical equation. Ang balanced chemical equation occurs when the number of the different atoms of elements sa reactant side ay equal ng nasa product side. The number before the elements and compounds ay tinatawag natin coefficients, which represent the number of molecules. Meanwhile, the subscript represents naman the number of atoms meron ang bawat element. And lastly, state of matter for every element or compound ay dapat ting naka-indicate, whether it is a solid, liquid, or gas. But do you know how to read a chemical equation? Naming an element or a compound in the equation ay napakahalaga. But symbols or markers gaya ng mga sumusunod should also be read correctly. The plus sign in the reactant side ay binabasa na to react with or react with. The arrow pointing to the right side of the equation is read as to yield or to produce. And the plus sign in the product side is read end. So let's name this equation now. Two molecules of fluorine tribromide react with three molecules of sulfuric acid to yield one molecule of iron 3 sulfate or ferric sulfate and six molecules of hydrogen bromide. But when this colorless gas hydrogen bromide is dissolved with water, its compound name will become hydrobromic acid. Okay, now that you know the parts and how to read this chemical equation, let's go ahead and show kung papaano ito naging balanse. This is still unbalanced. If you don't see any number before an element or a compound, it only means that it has all one molecule. Let's make a table and put down all the elements we have both for the reactants and the product sides. We have iron, bromine, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. The next thing we need to do is to multiply the number of atoms of each element to the number of molecules. And if there's no number of atom in the elements indicated, it means to say that it has only one atom in it. Okay, let's do it. One iron atom times one molecule is one. Three bromine atoms times one molecule is three. Two hydrogen atoms times one molecule is two. One sulfur atom times one molecule is one. Four oxygen atoms times one is four. This time, ilagay naman natin ang number of atoms for each element sa product side. Two iron atoms times one is two. One bromine atom times one is one. One hydrogen atom times 1 is 1. 3, which is the oxidation number of iron, times 1 sulfur atom is 3. Then multiply it again to the number of molecules. 3 times 1 times 1 is 3. 3 times 4 oxygen atoms times 1 molecule is 12. Since we're done listing down the initial number of atoms for each element in the equation, let's go over again with the steps but this time, it's with the correct coefficients. One iron atom times two molecules is two. Three times two is six. Two times three is six. One times three is three. And four times three is 12. Next, 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 3 times 1 times 1 is 3. And 3 times 4 times 1 is 12. If you find the first example somewhat easy, you will definitely find the next examples a lot easier. In this equation, we only have two elements, 
iron at chlorine. Let's list down the number of atoms each has in this unbalanced equation. We have 1 for iron and 2 for chlorine in the reactant side, 1 for iron and 3 for chlorine in the product side. In most cases, we start balancing or putting the coefficient before an element or compound with the bigger difference of atom number. Gaya na lamang ng una nating halimbawa kung saan ang oxygen atoms ay may pinakamalaking difference kasi 4 sa reactant and 12 naman sa product. Kaya nag-assign tayo ng smallest coefficient para magkaroon sila ng parehong bilang and that is 3. Or 3 molecules of sulfuric acid is needed to make the oxygen atoms equal sa product side. Ganun din sa example na ito. We need to assign the smallest possible coefficient that when we multiply to 2 and 3 will result to the same atom numbers. It's like getting the LCM or least common multiple of 2 and 3 and that is 6. Therefore, the coefficients should be 3 molecules for the reactant and 2 molecules for the products. Now, let's check if the chlorine atoms for both reactants and products are now balanced. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. Balanced. Next, 1 times 2 is 2. So, what number or coefficient we need to multiply to the one atom of iron? Okay, it's 2. So, 1 times 2 is 2. Balansi na. Sige, try nating basahin ang chemical equation na ito. We have 2 molecules of iron react with 3 molecules of chlorine gas to yield or to produce 2 molecules of iron 3 chloride or ferric chloride. Okay, this time let's try to balance the following equations. Please pause the video, do the balancing yourself, then once done, play it again to see the answers. For more lessons update, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.